So I'm Donna Edelson. I'm the founder and chief scientific officer at Quant HC. I'm also a researcher at the University of Chicago. And I have, a, we founded a company, Quant, that develops algorithms for identifying patients who are deteriorating in the hospital in real time. And what do you hope to do with that algorithm? Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to be able to bring the world of big data and real-time analytics into healthcare where we can use it at the bedside to identify in real time who's getting better, who's getting sicker, so we can actually we can actually do decision support. We can we can help people with decision support in a way that the rest of the world's been utilizing for a long time now and we're fairly far behind in healthcare. I'm Joe Luminello, I'm the Chief Commercial Officer at Quant. Uh, happy to be partnering, partnering with Dr. Edelson and I'm really excited about this opportunity. In essence, we're taking a lot of data and simplifying medicine, right? We're helping doctors and, and nurses see the data more clearly because there's so much noise in the system. And in doing so, we hope that we'll be able to demonstrate that earlier intervention with these patients will save the hospital and the system's money and also help prevent uh, terrible events for, the, for those patients. The, the biggest problem is just identify, is identifying it. If your providers don't know, they can't do anything. So, so we, we identify it. But when the providers get there, they'll then use their best clinical judgment to treat you. Sometimes you just need fluids. Sometimes you just need antibiotics. Sometimes you actually need to go to the ICU. And the earlier we get those treatments to you, the better you are to, the, the better your chance of surviving this hospitalization. To the extent that the algorithm eCart helps uh, the patient, helps identify patients' deterioration or their status in general, for those patients who are deteriorating, earlier intervention is better, both for the patient and their health, but also for the cost to the system in the hospital.